That's breaking and entering, kid. Two to five years for both of us. Hey, get that light off my face, will you? What do you want, mister? There's nothing for you to steal in here. Is that you, Jay? Yeah. And Artie? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> it's your Uncle Louie. What do you know? Couple of big guys now, ain't you? You've been sitting here long? Yeah, since Ma closed up the store. I've been waiting for her to go to sleep. Well, nobody told us you were coming tonight. Nobody knew. It was a big surprise, even for me. Come here. Give me a hug. You heard me. Move it! <laughs> hey, couple of middleweights, huh? <laughs> Are you staying tonight? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of days. Maybe a week. They're painting my apartment. You didn't know that they were going to paint your apartment? Well, they just found the right color paint tonight. Hard to find with a war on. You kids steal ice cream in the middle of the night, you're gonna be sucked. Take it from me. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you're popping me. We used to do the same thing when we was kids. We never took anything during the day. No candy, no ice cream. But when Ma let her braids down, it turned out the lights. We was down there lapping up the cream like a couple of cats. Because <laughs> the fun wasn't outsmarting Ma. Because she was quick. She could tell if there was salt missing from a pretzel. So the next morning at breakfast, she would just stare at me. Right into my eyeballs, pupil to pupil, never blinking. Her eyes looked like two district attorneys. But I would just stare right back at her. Until she looked away from me. Down for the count. <laughs> yeah. Me and Ma, we used to love to put on the gloves and go to distance. What? What is it? This? Don't worry about it. Just holding it for a friend. This cop I know, he's, uh, he's on a camping trip with his kids. He, he don't want no accidents. Is it loaded? Gee, I hope not. If it goes off now, I have to become a ballerina. <laughs> no, I never knew a policeman could lend his gun to someone. You got a real smart brother there. Did you know that, Artie? You're right, Jay. It's my gun. I'm a bodyguard for a very important, very prominent political figure. Kind of like being an FBI man. <laughs> Only they call it something else. You mean a henchman? Who's been telling you stories like that, Jay? No, I swear. Don't you ever repeat that word around to anyone again. You understand me? I didn't mean to say it. I was thinking of hunchback. Hey, we got a couple of jokers here. Don't try to pull my leg, Artie. It might come off in your hands. Okay. Now, let us discuss a little business here. I'll tell you what. Why don't you come and work for me? Huh? Five dollars a week, split between you. Cash on the barrel, what do you say? Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's your first week's pay, boys. Where? 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 In Jay's pocket, that's where. Go ahead and look. Five dollar bill. How'd you do that? These hands was touched by genius. <laughs> I could have been a concert violinist, but the handkerchief kept falling off my neck. What? Too fast for you, huh, boys? Never mind. Okay, so, Artie. You think you can drive a car? I'm only 13 years old. I'm a pretty good roller skater. You are. <laughs> That's good, because I'm spinning your wheels, kid. <laughs> Hey, come on, wake up and live. Come on, it's a fast world out there, Jesus. What would we have to do for the money? Nothing. Like uh, if someone comes around here looking for me, you don't know nothing, and you ain't seen nothing. There were two men here the other day looking for you. 
Oh, yeah? What'd they look like? One had a broken nose, and he was wearing... Wearing a Betty Grable tie. Yeah, that's, uh... That's Hollywood Harry and his brother. Okay, so, if they come around here again asking questions, what do we say to them? Nothing. Smart boys. Jay, look in Artie's pocket. Another five dollars. <laughs> oh, I could have played Carnegie Hall. We wouldn't be doing anything wrong, would we? Hey, you're my brother's kids. You don't think I'd get you involved in something stupid, do you? Don't be stupid. Come on, it's late. I'm gonna wash up. Oh, uh, one more thing. Um, don't touch that. See, uh, it's got all my valuables in it. You know, my driver's license and my draft card and my, uh, my new cufflinks. All right, forget about it. Never mind. I'll just put it somewhere else and so you won't have to worry about it. Oh, Artie, see if there's anything else in your pajama bottoms. There's nothing there. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, kid. You're young yet. <laughs> it's incredible. It's like having a James Cagney movie in your own house. 